Here's some of the programs that move people at PPNC to build their own business and get handsomely compensated for the efforts. Number one, monthly bonuses. We have five different levels of monthly bonuses. And if people reach those monthly bonuses, they get cash bonuses their way. Five level bonuses ranging from the first level all the way to the fifth, 2,500 at the first, 7,500 at the second, $25,000 at the third, $70,000 at the fourth, $135,000 at the fifth. Our guys and gals with Insider Agency, if they hit certain metrics, certain recruiting numbers, certain pay production premium, certain licensing numbers, they get these cash incentives their way that month on top of their normal commissions and overrides from the business and agencies that they're building. Number two, world travel. And let me break that down. We have two different types of world travel. We have 90-day contests. We have what we call a builder's trip, where within inside the 90-day period that we compete with, everybody's fighting for a seat. In this case, let's say 50 or 75 we've done in the past, Families, by the way, it's the, the builder plus one. So therefore, the agency builder plus their spouse, the agency, if they're single, agency builder plus their mom or dad. This is the type of incentive plans we have inside our company. So it's a world trial. So a 90-day contest. And here's the places we've been to. We've been to Cancun, Tulum, Bahamas, Hawaii, Jamaica, Puerto Rico. These are 90-day contests to generate a lot of activity and focus in a 90-day period. So therefore, we can experience world travel together as a team, as an organization with our families. The second type of world travel is longer incentives, which is 18 month trip world travel, meaning that we get to go to these crazy destinations. Check this out. We've been to Dubai. We've been to Costa Rica. We've been to Greece and Italy. We've been to Aruba. We've been to Paris, Monaco. And about a month ago, we just came back from Bora Bora. But these are longer 18 month contests where a lot of things can happen to keep people in a long range type of focus, consistent over a longer period of time. And what's the, pay what's the payoff? World travel. Again, where we can experience this world travel on the company's dime as a bonus, as an incentive to us to experience these trips with our families, to experience these trips with our teams, our closest associates that, we've, that we're in the trenches with on, in a, on a daily basis. This is the payoff for an 18 month type of contest. Another type of contest we have is leadership development contest, meaning that if we perform a certain amount of quota, a certain amount of business, we take our guys away and we take our guys to these type of incentive trips, mastermind retreats. We take our guys to the Gillette Stadium because we want to break down the man in the arena. We want to break down with Tom Brady and his mindset of building a championship team over his entire career, how you even perform with even not so big names as his wide receivers and his offensive weapons. How did you do it? And in addition to that, we brought some of his teammates. We brought his manager. We brought his, uh, one of his linebackers that he uh, competed with. We brought his left tackle, Matt Light. And we interviewed these guys on stage. So our guys got to see the mindset and ask questions directly and how these guys can better perform by taking world – championship athletes, and now we can incorporate that into our insurance business. The other part of the trip is business planning. We've taken our guys here to what we call the Million Point Bay Shop Retreat, where it's a number one leadership retreat where we get together in December to plan for the year ahead, to do business planning, to put our numbers together, to identify our leaks, to be coached by people who have been there, done that, who've had a lot more experience than a lot of our guys have coming up, and they're able to take their learning curve and by learning these skills and, and attributes and traits that incorporate into the business, their learning curve now becomes a power curve to learn from people that have been there, done that specifically in the model that we're in. And these are things that you don't have to pay for, you just got to qualify for. Some other smaller incentives to get our guys to perform in spurts, in, in chunks. We get our guys to compete for pictures with our speakers on stage. In the past, we've had Kevin Hart. In the past, we have Magic Johnson. In the past, we have Kobe Bryant. In the past, we had George W. Bush. These are incentives we have for our guys and gals out of our entire company. Say, hey, listen, if you want to separate yourself from everybody else, you get to have a picture with the speakers. In addition to that, you also have opportunity to earn your time to speak on stage. That's right. You can earn your time to speak on stage. You're not entitled to it. You can earn your time to speak on stage because who are we doing this for? Rewarding for the guy and gal that's going to come into the business and that wants to compete wants to dominate. It's not for the guys that want to kick back and, uh, and relax and have tenure and still feel that they're entitled to speaking roles. No, we want to award the current players of today because that's the behavior that we want to incentivize into our company. And last one, equity ownership. That's right, stock ownership. When our guys competed, we competed in years chunks. First chunk was a two-year chunk for me. When I first came in in 2015, it was a two-year chunk to compete for two years to earn stock equity ownership of the company. And after that, Patrick broke it down to three different rounds of one-year contests. Another year, another percentage of the company. Next year, another percentage of the company. So my time here in the four or five years I've been here at the company, I was able to earn a stock equity ownership of the company to drive 
to get us up to work every day, to have the opportunity to compete. And today, we're the third largest shareholder of PHP Agency amongst the sales force in all of PHP Agency. Why? Because we were incentivized to grow. Even though we weren't here the, from day one, we came here year five, year six at a company, and still we're able to compete because these metrics were put out. It said, hey, listen, if somebody wants to come up, not, not relax, but come here and compete, you can have the opportunity to run circles around people. So what type of sales force do you want to build? Do you want to build a sales force, build a, a compensation plan where people can just kick back and relax because they've been there for a while, time and service, tenure, et cetera, et cetera? Or do you always want competitors at your company? Do you want capitalism, the tenets of capitalism, to be live and well with the inside of your company, meaning that everybody has to improve? If you don't improve, not only potentially you might lose your job, but definitely you're not going to get any of the incentives and the bonuses. So what type of people do you want to include in your company for the long term? And by the way, guess what? The way I just described it becomes very annoying for some people. Do you know why? Because this type of compensation structure, this type of incentive plan is going to force everybody to improve. You cannot be around this compensation plan. You cannot be around the incentive plan if you want to be the same person last year, the same person two years ago, same person five years ago. No, you have to evolve. Stop.